you know how during the time of Jesus Christ, um, the Israelites claimed that they were the chosen people, right? Because you know they even they even go to a point where they say, um, "You uncircumcised Gentiles, right?" They always say that. They always like that. Yeah. And Paul actually rebuked them and says, "Oh, oh because oh, yeah, yeah. and then there's another story where I think even after Christianity grew." Some of the apostles were saying, yeah, in order for you to be a Christian, you need to be circumcised too. I'm like, no. Paul was saying, no. That is the law. True circumcision is the circumcision of the heart. You know? Circumcision of your heart, my heart. So, and I think, I think that's, that's the real, uh, the, circ the physical circumcision is a foretelling of what happens to us when we get born again. Being tender-hearted, being um, just exposed to God, and just saying, God, you know, you are the one who I'm gonna complain to. You are the one who is my God, you know. You reveal, um, you're, you're gonna reveal to me who I really am in you. Um, and the great thing about it is that once we begin to do that, once the foreskin, the old self, is removed, we begin to find out who we truly are. You know, the true self kind of deal. Um, so that's how I view circumcision, you know. Uh, well, one more question on that. Um, you said uh, going through circumcision is kind of like becoming a Christian. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you you went through your circumcision when you were 12, 13, uh -huh. okay, uh, if that was like you becoming a Christian, was it kind of like almost like being God the Father seeing your own son go through circumcision and seeing the kind of things he had to go through and perhaps the God the Father seeing someone become a Christian, you know, basically getting that self skin removed, mm. being tender hearted, maybe you having to take care of oh, the okay, younger okay, one okay. that way too. Yeah, I have a story that I want to share that, that's very related to what you're asking. I think you wanted me to, uh, to touch on this, right? Um, when my two boys got circumcised about two years ago, I brought them to a hospital um, and they were given anesthesia shots. Um, and like I said, when after the circumcision, when the anesthesia has died down, when their lower garment touches the head, it's very painful because it's very sensitive. So what I did was that uh, they, they, they were complaining, Dad, it's so painful. Why do you have to get me through this? You know, so I, you know, so like, you know oh, Jir was even saying, you know, my middle son was like, why did, you know, Jaden, my youngest brother, you know, he got a circumcision when he was a baby. Why did you give me a circumcision when I was a baby? You know, I was like, yeah, I was thinking, yeah, maybe I should have, you know, and I don't have to go through all this pain of, you know, feeling, because I feel their pain. I feel their pain because I went through exactly the same process. You know, uh, I was, when, when I was fully, um, um, when I was, um, when, when I was, I would run, you know, and, and lift my, for example, this is my, my lower garment. I would like like that. You know, I would like lift it away from my penis so that it won't touch. That's how I would walk, you know, kind of deal. So, but just imagine it's just a new uh, new operation. Really, there's still some threads, you know, there's some, I don't know what they call it, but um, so it's really painful. So I can feel their pain. So what I did was that uh, I made this, because they would watch all day, you know, you know, uh, just their way of recuperating. So they would lie down on the sofa or on a bed, right? Um, and, um, but like I said, the garment would touch it and it was painful. So what I did was I, I, made, I, I took out this string, right? And it's just an ordinary string, like a thread for sewing. And I, I tied it on the tip of their shorts, right? So that, and then I tied it on the, on the, on the ceiling. And just kind of lifted it up so that it's like instead of the the garment touching their, 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 their the head of their penis, it would be lifted up like that, you know. 
So in a way, I, I you know, they're complaining. Um, you can say that uh, that's, I mean, a Christian, because Christianity is, is, is very hard. Actually, not a lot of, I think prosperity gospel is, is really wrong in saying, you know, when you become a Christian, you know, get rich, and that's really wrong. <laughs> when you become a Christian, it's really hard. <laughs> it's hard. So I think in a way, we do become Christians because we're exposed now. When it happens, we complain to God. God responds. Because God loves it when we complain. Or when we complain is probably not a good word. When we open our hearts to Him, that's probably a better word. Open our hearts to Him and say, Lord, I became a Christian and becoming worse. What's up? You know? Uh, God will answer that. You know, the string that I tied on my children is some form of like a protection, right? And so I guess that, that's one way of, of looking at that. Now, how do you feel when your sons open up their hearts to you and tell you what's going on in their lives as a father? Oh, um, I, I feel very privileged. Because I know that's the teachable moment where I need to rise up and be the man and be the father that I need to be. Uh, those are what would Pastor Vince call uh, the, the teachable moment. And when that comes, my heart gets tender hearted as well and say, Oh my goodness, son, I experienced the same thing, you know, and this is what I did. You know, I did a lot of stupid things. I tried this, I tried that, but it didn't work. You know what worked? And I just kind of surrendered it to God. And just, I don't know, God gave me the answer. And then, yeah, do this. I'm like, oh, yeah. I had peace, I had joy, I had self-control. I had the spirit. That, that, that's because I, I listened to Him. Right? You know, I didn't try to cover it up myself. You know, I didn't try to fix it myself. So I would share that to my friends. I love it whenever they ask me those questions. Sometimes I preempt it because I'm so just excited that they will learn. But I think as a dad, sometimes we just need to just let them be and let them experience um, some failures. And when they do, you'll know. You'll know. They'll come to you and then they'll ask for help. And that's the time where you, you, know, you need to tell them. Like, when you need to do something.